What is good? What is good? This is Daz Bones, back and better than ever, and you are tuned in with Monkey D. Michael. And we are so happy to be back because another crazy epic chapter from Oda, 1029, fresh off the crazy momentum of mm -hmm. Sanji putting in all that work and really showing the tank that he is, like those latent abilities tapping in. The, the exoskeleton right. finally started to develop. We kind of figured there was always something funky with his body, mm -hmm. but we never knew specifically what it was. Right. And playing from his legs, Diablo Jambo. Right. It all makes sense, but even though we got to see that greatness at the end of this chapter, he's still running from it, right? Literally still running. <laughs> I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, I know. Look, Daz <sighs> here has been super like, standing over Sanji and the fact that Oda's finally giving him some play, but at the end of the day, Sanji's still running. He's not putting out any hard work, at least What? In my he's not putting in but any hard work. That's why I was happy about this chapter, because finally we don't have to sit here and focus on him, even though we know that Queen is completely focused. Because all he wants to do is see Sanji's raid suit. But enough about that, right? He withstood the strongest attacks from a second division commander. Give that credence, and he is unfazed completely. But you're right. As soon as we get those couple panels about Sanji, we switch over to Big Mom, and, Kid, uh, and Law. And literally, it's just more of an all out fight between Law and Big Mom. Kid is over there like, with his little headache, and we're like, what is happening? <laughs> he going through it. Yeah, he, he's really not getting a chance with it. It's kind of unfair at the same time. He has no idea what's going on. He just wants to make his big debut. And like Hawkins is just like sitting back in the other area. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is really taking that voodoo doll <laughs> shit to the next level yeah, because literally. he is feeling none of this damage. So you see him literally just banging his head into this mm -hmm. pillar over and over again. And Law is one like, bro, you are useless right now. What What are you here for? Like, I'm help. fighting Big Mom by myself. You realize that, right? and I'm covering for you. Literally, so you are a are liability. Up with new moves and we're kidding. Is just sitting there. He pulled no. out a, a crazy counter shock move against Big Mom, mm -hmm. and we saw it actually have some effect. But just due to bit. that, he took a direct attack from Prometheus. Killer definitely had to get in there, and like, he was making sure. Hawkins didn't even realize that when Killer was sitting here asking these questions. What happens? The pain I send to you has nowhere to go. And Hawk, like, what do you mean? It's going to Killer <laughs> or to Kid. It doesn't matter what you do. Probably you want. Yeah, he was saying, like, what if it, the pain that I deal to you doesn't have a proper conduit? Right. Like, what do you mean? There's no proper conduit. Conduit. And it was interesting because before he was really just kind of giving him his second chances. And mm -hmm. even though he was acting really on the defensive and saying, please just stop this. He was asking him, despite your devil fruit and the way it works on all these cards that you got. Mm -hmm. And you dealt out the cards and saw that it was best to align with Kaido because we had 0% chance. Right. Despite all of that, I know you feeling regrets because all of us are literally still here. Mm -hmm. So how are you feeling now? How are you Look feeling you now? now? And that was, he was trying to kind of hit to him it's this arising of the moon and the the cards are gonna tell the truth and he right. asked what is the outcome of this battle and he showed him. What did the card tell us? What did the card tell us? We got tower card. And basically that means uh, out with the old and in with the new. This was obviously like the dawn. We're opening up Wayno. Like mm -hmm. Luffy's obviously like establishing finally he's a Yonko. This is the foreshadowing that Odin was talking about 20 years later back in his logbook. Telling Yamato, Momonosuke, everybody who was able to read it about. This is the moment and this is like that new way forward we've been mm -hmm. waiting on. So we are going to see Law and Kid finally do Yonko level. Hopefully. These are going to be their Yonko quote unquote feats. So then that begs the question Kaido, and Big, Mom will, right now. Kaido and Big Mom will not be Yonko after this arc. Oh, you think so? Like, Kaido you think, and Big like, Mom will this not arc, be Yonko. Just like going anymore. down alone will like forfeit their power. Yes, they are losing. They huh. will lose everything. Big Mom will legitimately be defeated. I think both her and Kaido will legitimately be defeated in this arc. I think that they would still need to save face and that they may not be taken as seriously. How can they save face if they're defeated by pirates that I, beat them? I don't know that they can just be written off like that. It's not about being written off. I don't know if both of them are going to survive the arc is what I'm trying to say. All of their forces I mean, have Kaido been... Kaido deserves to die. Kaido look at everything die. Kaido has done in Wano. All of that is going to be down to shit. And he's literally held his basis in Wano for the past decades. I mean, but realistically out of all the things in One Piece that we've seen, we've only seen one hero die. 
die and we've known we've never seen a single villain specifically die then when will they i guess right now would be the best time but there's no guaranteeing that. Well, like, what 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 relevance will big mom and kaido have beyond this arc i mean i can't say that i would feel unfulfilled if luffy didn't finally get his one-on-one -on -one with big mom he just ended up getting taken out by kid and law but she's and fighting his contemporaries pirates who are supposed to be on his level when they go right but at the end of the day it's still not their fight over the wedding cake yeah wh but why would luffy get his opportunity to transcend and them not like if I mean, luffy's I, really I gonna defeat kaido why wouldn't them i too completely agree with what you're saying don't get me wrong mm -hmm. like they because they still need to get stronger as well but what i'm saying is that them basically taking over for his issue I understand the fact that you just don't see how two Yonko can really just get taken out like, for good here and here, in, in like here arc, and there. It just doesn't, I don't know. But I as well, I feel like with the Marines getting involved, it's going to be in, this Maybe is going to be the, con yeah, this isn't going to be the conclusion of the fight with Killer. Killer's going to get involved in other fights after he puts in that work to defeat Hawkins right. with that sonic sight that he uses, which is ridiculous. Right, after he cuts off that arm and he realizes that that when that proper conduit mm -hmm. is not there because kid does not have that left right. arm it has a metal arm it's a wrap after that happens to hawkins he has yeah, nothing yeah. to really just imagine the one arm hawkins versus zoro and that's what you got right here <laughs> but at the same time it could be similar to aokiji and he could end up with a straw arm i mean granted it's not very i think basil hawkins is dead bro useful he got his it looked like somebody sliced his face up. We, you never know until it's officially confirmed by Oda that they're dead, specifically. That's how we knew that Ace was dead. Yeah, well. Like, well. it was, like, drilled in our face. You loved him. We made sure you loved him. Ace and Whitebeard. Now that Eustace kid doesn't have to worry about being a, a voodoo doll anymore, right. he can go all out against Big Mom. And we know he's been a tank this whole time, so taking blunt force oh, isn't yeah. really going to be enough to take him out. I mean, the two of them come... Uh, against her like definitely will they have a power advantage for sure now he doesn't have that handicap yeah so I i'm definitely excited to see what uh, goes forward with that fight now that killer is freed up that he will be able to get involved in the fight and we'll get to see both of them get just go all get out a little bit of shine yeah so it yeah, won't yeah, just yeah, be yeah. her on her own and possibly the the rise of some other big mom pirates mm -hmm. maybe they'll get involved because they don't want her to go down or they don't want her to take any more direct attacks because it's really she She's gonna have her hands full. That's Law, Eustace Kid, and Killer. As strong and as dominant as she is, they are weaker than Luffy, but not by a whole lot. Right, in terms right. of overall ability. So, be prepared to see some crazy shit in the next few chapters. Bells and whistles, because Oda has just been putting it out, and I know that Daz here has been just been enjoying the hell oh, out of all this Sanji content. Oh, but bro. Can the, we get back to the set? We got to see Killer. I'm loving the right-hand man, so let's get back to Zoro. Uh, let's get back to it. our regular scheduled programming, right? <laughs> the Zoro show. We in Wano still. It's all yeah, about yeah. Swordsman. Let's see him. But the thing is, yeah. Sanji has his ultimate chapter closing opponent here being somebody who was working with Judge in the past so he can close this chapter of having this resistance and resentment of the Vinsmoke by really just using the ability and seeing that it was He's unfortunately, it's literally, he was built for this. He's still sober, man. I, this is the one time you can say that Sanji was built for this, bro. So let's get it going Tuxedo Mask. Let's do it. Let's do it, bro. Man, so much in store for this One Piece content, man. So much more for the Ridge Dreamcast content in general as we roll out more into the fall. It's gonna be so great to enjoy more content with so us so please coming. hit the like content vibe with us and please communicate with us to Definitely. give us feedback hit that subscribe for future content this has been daz bones and monkey d michael you know the lotus always blooms twice